She has a name. She's not just a 36-year-old woman. And the baby, she died, like, tragically. She's, they should be named. Romelia Diane Asuncion's mother and sister want the world to know that Romelia and her baby girl, five-month-old Morgan Rose Asuncion Massacot, were found dead in this Richmond Hill home on February 1st. Their cause of death, severe, blunt, deep stab wounds. I believe that my sister fought for her life and for her for the okay. safety of her child. Also found dead from a stab wound in the basement apartment the family shared, Romelia's common-law husband, the baby's father, 41-year-old Joshua Lawrence Massacott. In my heart and in my mind, I believe that they were murdered. And, and then after that, she, he committed he suicide. Committed Romelia's family says the couple met in a pastry factory where they both worked and began dating in 2016. During the pandemic, Romelia left him because she wanted kids and he did not. Eventually, Josh convinced her to come back and she got pregnant. When she showed me the pregnancy test, she was so happy. She said, oh, we waited for so long. Finally, it came, you know. Romelia texted her mother every day. On January 31st, she wrote good morning to her mother, sent her a video of the baby, and then a text just after 1 p.m. The last message that I got from her was that she was telling me, Mom, we argued, we argued, again. argued again. Then Romelia stopped replying. The following day, her mother and sister went to the couple's basement apartment in Richmond Hill to look for the landlord and ask if he had seen the couple. He suggested they call police. Emergency officials arrived within 15 minutes. Suddenly, there was a flurry of activity. Police tape went up, and the family was told to go to the police station. I'm so, so devastated. I'm so angry. So angry. I'm so mad because I treated the guy so well. On Wednesday, the family saw the bodies of Romelia and baby Morgan. It was clear they had been attacked. No woman should ever deserve to suffer like this. Police say there are no outstanding suspects and are still looking for witnesses. An apparent case of intimate partner violence. The family wishes they could have done more. Uh, even blaming myself, why, why these things are happening to me? This is the second tragedy for this family. In 1996, Romelia's older brother, who was only 15 years old, was killed in a house fire back in the Philippines. The family says that he saved his father's life, but sadly he perished. Now they're dealing with Romelia and her little baby Morgan's murder. Too much for any family to bear. Funeral arrangements are still being finalized. Catherine McDonald, Global News.